and welcome back to another episode of Too Many Hobbies, a series where I try everything. I'm on a mission to try out all of the hobbies I've stored away in my hobby box to try to find my next cozy hobby. And who knows, maybe you'll discover your next crafty obsession along with me. Today, we're trying out perler beads. This is such a random interest of mine, but I became interested in trying it after I went to Momocon last year. I got this really cute Kirby magnet from an artist at the artist alley there and if I can find her socials, I will link them down below. But yeah, I thought it was such a fun idea. The results are really cool. It's like real life pixel art. And I just wanted to try it for myself. I'll be translating my pizza sticker design into bead form. And I'll let you know after I go through this whole process if this hobby gets the cozy stamp of approval from me. And was it affordable, beginner friendly, and easy to learn? So without further ado, let's get started. This is everything you'll need if you want to try this out at home. Perler or fused beads, the more colors the better, a pegboard, and I really recommend a kit if you want to avoid getting these two things separately, an iron, masking or painter's tape, ironing sheets or parchment paper, tweezers, and a design or perler pattern. So turning the design into a perler pattern was probably the hardest thing about getting started. And if I could do things differently, I probably would have started with just the pattern that came with the kit that I purchased. There are a ton of websites that beadify images you upload, and I tried Beadifier, Pixel Beater, but ultimately ended up going with Pearly Pop, which is a mobile app. Admittedly, there are a lot of paywalled features on the app, but the design I managed to export worked for what we were doing today. So I purchased a kit off of Amazon really as a catch-all so that I didn't have to buy a bunch of different materials. Everything would have been bundled into one, but I think that backfired just a little bit. The kit came with various accessories like key rings and googly eyes, as well as its own patterns, but I decided not to use those extra embellishments. I also ended up purchasing more pegboards to make my design a little bit larger. The actual process involved simply sliding my pattern under the pegboard and using the tweezers to place the beads onto the pegs according to color. So the most terrifying part about this whole process was ironing. Once I finished placing the beads, I needed to tape off the design and remove it from the pegboard so that I could iron it. And I was just so nervous that I was going to ruin it. In short, basically I have to tape down the beads here, flip the pegboard and then lift the pegboard away from the beads. And I was so worried that I was going to ruin it or like there were gonna be beads flying everywhere, but luckily everything worked out. You'll probably see that some beads got a little bit misplaced in the flip and also me trying to tape down the beads in general but I just slid them back to where I felt like they needed to be and yeah just kept on chugging transfer this onto like another board. I just didn't want to iron directly on my desk.
So this is the end result. It's really cute. I really love how it came out. I personally love this process so much that I even went on to make a few more. Yeah, I mean, just overall, I thought it was really relaxing. And after I figured out how I wanted to translate my design into a perler pattern, I feel like it was just like smooth sailing from there. All you're really doing is putting the fuse beads onto little pegs. And I think that's just, you know, pretty chill and mindless, honestly. I was having this conversation with some friends the other day and I always tend to choose hobbies where I have to like create something or think creatively. And while I feel like I had to do a little bit of that in translating my design into a perler pattern, the actual process of the hobby was just kind of chill and monotonous and a little bit mindless. All I had to do was just slide the little fuse beads onto the little pegs and it was just nice. I love all things design. I'm just a designer at heart, but I'm also always on the lookout for a hobby that doesn't require me to turn on my design brain. And I feel like this was definitely that for me. So needless to say, like I really enjoyed this. So ratings. So I'm looking at affordability, overall enjoyment. Was it easy to learn? And do I consider it cozy? Affordability wise, this is a really affordable hobby to get into. You can buy an all-inclusive kit on Amazon for about 20 bucks. It'll come with a pegboard, tweezers, fuse beads, and patterns to get started with. Overall enjoyment, I thought it was really fun. The one thing I wish I could have done differently in the process was just start with the perler patterns that were provided in the kit that I bought, just because I found it difficult initially to translate my own designs into patterns. But if you're not artistic and you're just looking for a cozy hobby, there are plenty of like free perler patterns that you can download and print off online of like characters like Mario or Hello Kitty. I even went to Michael's to pick up the extra pegboards and I saw character themed perler kits. So don't worry, you don't need to be artistic or have drawing skills to do this hobby. I also just found it really relaxing. Definitely something I could do with some music or podcasts in the background. I love crafts that are pretty straightforward and I definitely think this is one of them. Learning curve wise, again, I go back to the perler pattern if you're trying to design something completely from scratch it might be a little bit difficult but the actual process of like assembling the fused beads is just really plain and simple even with the ironing process I will say that's probably the most stressful part but you also don't have to do it the way that I did it the tape method you can iron straight onto the pegboard I just chose not to do that because I didn't want to damage my pegboard so the tape method that I use adds a little bit of extra complexity to the finishing process but I think it was worth it in being able to like savor my materials for longer. Finally, is it cozy? I think so. It was definitely my rainy day activity. It's been pretty stormy here recently and it was just kind of a nice little vibe. Hearing the rain come down outside while I was putting together this little cute pizza, like it was definitely cozy vibes for me. I could definitely see myself getting patterns in the future and making fan art. I think it also would be really cool to do portraits and stuff of like family or friends or even like our cats. It's fun. It's not messy. It's really simple. So yeah, I would totally recommend it. It definitely gets my cozy stamp of approval. I think that about covers things. Thank you again for watching this video. If you're inspired to try perler bead art, I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. It helps me a lot. If you'd like to support me in creating more videos like this, I do have a Patreon filled with exclusive content and perks, which I'll link down below. And if you're interested in getting this pizza a sticker for yourself, consider checking out my store, prettymagical.shop. I run a sticker shop where I draw super cute designs, and if cute art is your jam, I'm sure you'll find something you'll love. I think that about covers it. See you all in the next video. Bye guys!